Hello everyone, this is Kristen with the Queen Anne's County Library and I'm bringing you today's take home kit, which is decoupage wooden blocks. Um, here is an example of one that I've created. Um, I used some sheet music for this, so you can see it's just kind of covered with musical notes, which is great for me because I like music. Um, but let's look into our, our bags and see what we have to make this. So you should have a little jar here and that has your Mod Podge in it. And a, obviously a brush to help with that. You have three wooden blocks. And then you should have some sheet music, some sheet music here. Some old dictionary pages. And then a couple of sheets of um, scrapbook paper. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is just kinda look through what you have for your supplies. Um, and uh, decide kind of what you want your, your wooden blocks to look like. You can use this paper or you could also use um, whatever kind of paper you have at home. There might be something that you prefer, um, but feel free just to, to look around. Any sort of um, thinner paper should work for this. And also at home, you probably you may want some scissors and a ruler, um, just depending on how precise you want to get your paper to the edges of your block. For the one that I did with the sheet music, I just tore mine to give it kind of a, a rougher, ragged edge, um, just to make it look a little bit older, I guess. So once you've decided on um, kind of what you want it to look like, the first step that we're going to do is um, cut your paper to size for um, the sides. If you want to and you have um, acrylic paint at home, you could also paint your um, wooden blocks first, but I'm just leaving mine natural, um, but it's just kind of a personal preference and, and what you have. So let's get started with um, picking out our paper and cutting it. So I've decided to um, start with some of my scrapbook paper. And as you can see, I just started to tear it just a little bit to kind of see what it looked like. And I think I'm gonna like that look. This is when I just need to kind of measure it and tear on all sides. And you don't have to reach the um, edges if you don't want to. It's kind of a personal preference as to how much you want to cover. Um, so I just kind of kind of guesstimate a little bit and work my way down. Because you just don't want it to overhang the edges. Now the thing with this is it does take a bit of time because you have to let um, the paint dry, the decoupage uh, Mod Podge dry. So that looks pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna take just a little bit more here because it's kind of hanging off a little bit. So once I'm satisfied with that, I'm just gonna open up my Mod Podge. There should be like an extra seal on there, um, which is hopefully keeping it working and then you just want to take it and spread it out over your block you don't need a huge amount just enough to cover everything everything is covered you're just gonna take your piece of paper put it on and then just spread out from the the middle to make sure everything is glued on and try not to get the glue on on top of it Then you can move on to your next side. Um, you're gonna wanna let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes before you um, do the next step, which would be covering it with um, the Mod Podge just to seal everything. Um, so I'm just gonna work on my other sides right now. So I have my um, initial layer all done here. So I'm just gonna let it sit and dry for um, about 
10 or so minutes. Um, and after that, I will decide um, if I want to add a second layer or what I want to do with it. So I waited my um, 10 to 15 minutes and it now seems to be dry. So I'm gonna start, um, I decided that this just looks a little too plain. So I'm gonna add a second layer. Um, I cut some butterflies and flowers out of uh, my other scrapbook paper. So I'm just gonna add an, another layer on right now. So I'm just gonna start by covering this again. placing it where I want it and I'm just gonna go around doing this and this will take me a little bit longer because some of this I can't um, flip over just because there's all the the Mod Podge on it but um, I'm just gonna cover all of my other parts with my various um, flowers butterflies just to give it a little bit of more interest and um, depth as well. So my uh, wooden block has dried again. Um, as you can see, all my pictures have been successfully decoupaged on. And so we're just going to do our last step, which you're going to have to repeat um, between two to four times, depending on how much, um, how thick you want the cover to be, um, is just basically we're going to take our Mod Podge and just layer it on over. And this is another one that you're going to have to wait um, 10 to 15 minutes for everything to dry before you can go to the next, to do the next layer. Um, so just cover everything over and this will give it the, the nice um, glossy finish. So I'm just gonna repeat this on all the sides and you may have to um, wait until some of them dry to get to um, some of the other sides just because how this is shaped. Here's my um, finished block. So you can see every side has been um, decoupaged down. I did, I want to say it was like three or four layers um, of the Mod Podge on it just to cover it up. So these, you can see there's two different versions that I've done. Um, this one with the scrap paper and this with the music notes. So it'd be interested to see what you all end up with. Thank you for joining me today as we learned how to decoupage some wooden blocks. I hope you had fun and um, I can't wait to see the results of what you created. Don't forget you can send your pictures in to info at qaclibrary.org and uh, thanks for joining me and hope we, hopefully we'll craft again together soon. Thank you. Bye.